A pioneer in cryogenics, the idea that people should be frozen after death so they can be revived in the future, died this week at the age of 92. Now he is on ice, and ABC's Bob Woodruff is here with an inside look at this man and his controversial movement. Yeah, and he is on ice already. His name is Robert Edinger, who was a big believer that if you can actually come back to life as long as you freeze your body and your brain immediately after you die. And he did exactly that. A legend in his own time. When you hear the word cryonics or cryogenics, you might think of Austin Powers. Where am I? You've been cryogenically frozen for 30 years. Walt Disney or Ted Williams. Ted Williams! The baseball icon who was famously frozen after he died with the hope that someday in the future advances in science and technology can bring him back to life. It's a movement founded in the 1960s by this man, Robert Edinger, inspired by a science fiction story he read. He founded the Cryonics Institute in this nondescript office building in Clinton Township, Michigan. Inside, over a hundred people float inside giant bottles filled with nitrogen at temperatures colder than negative 130 degrees Celsius hoping one day in the future, some doctor will revive them. Now, the pioneer of cryonics has joined them as patient 106. This is our temporary cooling box. My father's in this box right now. Edinger died last week and now rests here peacefully next to his mother, Rhea, his first wife, Elaine, and his second wife, May. My father's intention was that he and his family and his friends get a chance to live longer and to take advantage of the promise of future technology. He believed, like a lot of people do, that in the future we're going to have dramatically greater medical technology. And the question is, how do you get them from here to there? And cryonics is kind of an ambulance to the future. And as the saying goes, the apples don't fall far from the tree. I intend to do this as well. My wife does. And I'm very happy that we were able to do this for my father. For about 30,000 bucks, you can too. Currently, there are over 200 people in frozen state at cryonic centers in the U.S. Some 2,000 have signed up for it. Scientists are freezing endangered animal species at this virtual frozen zoo in Louisiana. We have gorillas and rhinos, tigers, lions. They're frozen in little tiny straws. And people are also freezing their pets. And then there's the debate, freeze the whole body or just the head? It even had the Golden Girls baffled. How can you still be alive? You have to be 200 by now. No, I died a long time ago. I had my head frozen. Yeah, but how did you get a body so fast? You didn't tip the guy? <laughs> the controversy and spooky science did little to dissuade Edinger from selling the dream and little to prevent ordinary Americans from buying into the cryogenic craze. I don't want to die. Robin Hansen, an economics professor at George Mason University, is signed up to go to the Alcor Life Extension Foundation in Arizona, the same facility as Ted Williams, when he passes on. Like most medical technologies, this is a chance to live a little longer. It's not a guarantee. It doesn't mean I believe that it's sure to work or even that it's likely to work. But I think the chance of it working is high enough to be worth the cost. But his wife, Peggy, doesn't buy it. In fact, she gave us the cold shoulder when we asked her to talk to us about it, calling into question that little phrase, till death do us part. My wife and I don't have to discuss this. We don't have to talk about it uh, unless somebody else brings the subject up. Basically, we uh, don't talk about it and we have our marriage continue on by uh, setting the issue aside. While he waits for his wife's objections to thaw out, for now, Hansen's dilemma is when he'll want to come back from the dead. Do I want them to bring me back as soon as they have a chance, or do I want them to wait a while until they're really sure they can bring me back? I think I want them to try to bring me back as soon as possible. <laughs> now, of course, the majority of people think this is all just weird science that will never work, but David Edinger actually told his father's legacy will be vindicated one day, and when the science catches up with his dad's idea from 30 years ago, his father will be back to tell us all, <laughs> I told you so. And that would be some moment. But I love this whole idea, Bob. Okay, so $30,000 for the whole body, but there's also a discount option? <laughs> That's for the entire body and the head. If you want to save some money, you can just have your head frozen, not along with your body. You know, my wife, Lee, is so cheap, I think I'm only going to get my head. <laughs> she is not. I don't want to give an alley any ideas. Okay, Bob, thanks very much. Okay, it's your turn to weigh in. Would you have your body cryogenically frozen after death? Vote now using the GMA app on your smartphone or go to abcnews.com slash GMA.